It has been a fat minute since I've let Valve ruin my life. So today I'm gonna to be back on Steam. We're gonna be looking through some of the popular tags and picking a random category. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen these videos before. Uh, if you haven't, I have a few of them on my channel, but there are a lot of ridiculous categories on Steam. Some of them are normal, you know, indie, action, adventure, casual, strategy. Basically the first 10 are pretty normal. But then we get into the really, really weird stuff. One of my personal favorites is the bowling category, which has a whopping eight games, and one of them is Grand Theft Auto 4. I will find you, and I will kill you. Nico, it's Roman. Let's go bowling. Valve, you've really outdone yourself. Also guys, I'd like to apologize for my last video for not knowing what this Warhammer game was. Apparently there's 42 of them, and that is a ridiculous amount of games in one series. I don't feel bad about what I said. Another weird thing that I found is that they have football games in the soccer category. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. They should have their own category for football. Oh wait, they do. In the football category, also has soccer games. Steam, please fix. On a real note, today I wanted to check out some of the crowdfunded games on Steam. If you don't know what crowdfunding is, it's basically when you beg for money and a bunch of people pay for the stuff. Some of the bigger crowdfunding sites are Indiegogo, you got Kickstarter, GoFundMe, and then you got sites like My Free Cams, where chicks with giant wieners in the background ask for your money in exchange for sexual favors. I hate the internet. So I'm gonna grab a few games from this list. We're gonna play them and we're gonna see what people really waste their money on. Real quick, guys, before I get to too far into this video as well. I wanted to let you guys know I did actually upload a video on Red Dead Redemption 2. For some reason, YouTube did not promote it at all. Like it's fully monetized and everything, but YouTube is like broken as hell recently. Uh, if you guys wanted to check that out, it is there on my channel. It's also linked in the description and in the iCard in the corner. Anyways, guys, uh, I, there's no sponsor or anything for today. I just wanted to plug that really quick because I want this video to do well. I gotta say, guys, looking through the two pages of crowdfunding games that Steam has, there is not a lot to pick from. The quick hot turds that we're gonna be looking at today are boring. Alice, Son of Nor, The Mims Beginning, and XOXO Droplets. I am honestly pretty underwhelmed at the choices that we had, but the first game that I am going to be looking at today is The Mims Beginning. Now, the reason I want to look at it is because it's normally $17, but it's 89% off right now, so it's only $1.86. Your boy, your boy got a deal. The game is installed, and I'm really excited to see what this hot load of booty juice has in store for me today. Ladies and gentlemen, we got weird penis aliens already right off the bat. This is, this is a fantastic star. Oh my goodness. Just remember, taxpayers, just remember, your money, your money paid for this game, okay? I gotta say, honestly, this is, the title, the title screen's not that bad. It's, it's actually kind of cool. Oh no. Oh no. What do I do? What do I do? No, no, we're not gonna play the tutorial. I don't even need it. Like, how, how hard could this game be, dude, honestly? Long pieces of text with no voice acting is just not a good idea ever. Uh, I'm not gonna read it. Don't expect me to read it. This looks like that one episode of Jimmy Neutron where they had the weird chicken monsters that like kidnapped everybody's parents and Jimmy had to go save them. Begin the incubation! Yeah, I got a blast, bitch. All right, here we go. This looks like a PSP game, but we're doing it. Why am I able to move this text? Look at this, it's moving like a pixel. It's weird. Do I zoom out? Oh, oh, okay. Okay, this is a weird camera angle, but I can work with it. Uh, apparently, I'm building them a large rocket ship. I have, there's nowhere to put it, though. Maybe right here in this big... There we go. So it looks like as, as I put things down, the penis monsters build them, and that's interesting. Uh, there's a progress bar. I guess we'll just build some more stuff. We can do that. I don't understand why the camera angle is so low though. So it looks like what I'm doing right now is I'm planting banana plants. I don't know why, I don't wanna know why, but I plant them and they grow and then the weird orange alien monsters come and take the bananas and throw them into the banana silo. Guys, this game is stupid. I'm kind of interested. I've never done this before. I want to look at the reviews. I don't understand this game. The way that I see it, honestly, as close-minded as this may be, I feel like for a game to truly be good, you don't need to play the tutorial. I know that may be like super ignorant and y'all might be triggered right now, but like look at like look at classic games like Pac-Man or like Donkey Kong, right? You don't need tutorials to play those, and those are those are pretty good games. 
<laughs> I'm going out of my way to like piss everybody off in this video because I'm really salty that you left so many hate comments about me not knowing that Warhammer game series. Can you can you tell? Can you tell that I'm salty? Can <laughs> Without having the save game option, there's no save game option in this game, dude. Get out of here, bro. The final straw for me is the lack of a save feature. You know, we're not even gonna read any more reviews. You don't deserve my time. Next game on the list is Borealis. This one also has mixed reviews and you clowns also did pay for this game to be made. So congratulations. This game comes in at 4 dollars and to be completely real, I'm not looking forward to this one either. Let's do it. All right, this, this bitch just throws you right in. So we're just gonna go into survival, right? This is my kind of game, man. No tutorial. It's loud as all hell, but there's no tutorial. I don't need one. Do I just, do I avoid these lines or do I collect them? I don't, am I avoiding planets or am I, how does this work? Nope. Okay. So you don't want to collect the lines. Oh, okay. This is, so this game is supposed to be a Zen game. It's, it's supposed to be one of those relaxing titles that like makes you feel good. I think you literally just avoid the, the lines. You just don't hit them. I don't know why some are blue and why some aren't, but, uh, you just don't hit the lines and you win the game. It's only the tips of the lines, though. You can, you can go into the little tails. Little, this is this is stupid, too. You guys are always telling me I should give these games more of a chance, but, like, wh wh what, do, what do you want from me here, man? What, this is a ball floating through space, avoiding some lines. What is? Who funded this? Well, you can get right up real close to them as long as you don't touch their tips. Not sure why that is. If I don't win Creator of the Year this year, honestly, for my wonderful work with balls and lines. I'm gonna be pretty salty. Oh, do I collect the blue ones? Am I supposed to? Is that how this game works? Touch the blue tips, but you avoid the white ones? That seems kind of insensitive. I know it says this game doesn't go any faster, but like we can make this game go faster. We pull in our cheat engine window. We can just enable the speed hack, right? Go to 20 times speed and then watch this. Yeah, now it's faster, bitch. I can just sit here, bro. I'm gonna collect all these weird nubs. I think I broke it. Guys, help. Oh, no, oh, okay. I am really, really hoping that this next game will actually be something worthy of playing. It's actually a free to play game and it looks like it's kind of a weird dating simulator where you where you talk to fedora people. I have a lot more leniency for bad games that are free to play than bad games that cost like $20. So we're gonna see. I, I honestly feel like this might be the game of the video. I don't know why I put so much emphasis on that. It's really not that big of a deal. I don't upload very much. Please select which ribbon you'd like to start with. Is this my character? Let's start with the obnoxious yellow one. A, select a first name. See, this game's already more interactive than the other two combined. Let's do it. I don't know if this is a man or a woman, so we're gonna go with a gender neutral name here and just hit hit it up with the hairy clams. Select a last name. Oh, wait, so my first name is Harry Clams? What should my last name be? Harry Clams Full Hole, that's my name. <laughs> oh, it's a girl. It's a fucking girl. <laughs> I should have known by the bow, but it's 2018. Anybody can be anything, holy shit. My name is Harry Clams, and they're censoring the word damn. I'm still stiff from all the freaking eternal bus ride here, and I don't even know where I'm going. This better be the high school section. Hello, Harry Clams? <laughs> wow, that's Nurse Lynn, bro. Why does everybody, like nobody in this game looks like they're male or female. Why can't I tell what gender these people are? I don't have a problem with being androgynous, but like, I is that a man wearing a wig or is that a woman with no boobs, but really nice collarbones? Let's skip through all this. I'm trying to find the sex. I had like five minutes of dialogue with no options to click on anything or do anything, and now it's asking me to save the game. This is wowzers. Like, this is the first person I've seen in this game who actually, like, has a definitive gender. Like, I'm not trying to be, like, insensitive. Like, I don't have an issue with any of it, but, like, I don't understand the art style, I guess is what it is. Is this, like, a dating sim, or is this just talking to people simulator? That was a dumb joke. That was, I tried. This is, like, way too much dialogue, boys and girls. I'm, I don't have control over anything that I'm saying. We're just having a conversation. It's like a movie that I have to hit enter to go through. The character development is riveting. Oh, Romeo. Oh my God, this game is great. I'm just gonna spam my spacebar until I beat it. You guys can't even hear me spamming it. That's how good I am at it. Oh, wait. Oh my God, I get to make a choice. 
Oh, I should have been paying attention. Am I choosing a mate? Cause if, oh, I clicked on one accidentally. That is not, that is not who I'm trying to get to know. Why does everyone hate you? Okay, his name is Bay. <laughs> this is the only game that actually cost me a bit of money. This game is $20, $19.99 on Steam. It's called Son of Nor, and it also has mixed reviews. This one could be interesting. It's hit or miss. Apparently we have telekinetic powers in this game. So that's a thing. I, I guess you can lift up the sand and throw tables and shit. Honestly, guys, from the last three games that you all paid for so they could get developed, this is the one I'm looking forward to the most. Don't let me down. All right, here we go. Here we go. This is the one. This is the one. Oh, made possible by Kickstarter backers. Would you like to allow the collection of those data? No, they can't collect my data. What the fuck? My name is Paul Sachs, boys. And this is what I look like. This is gonna be the best game I've ever played. I can already tell, boys and girls. Better than Red Dead Redemption 2. One of them's a lizard? There's a, there's a, li he's a lizard. And there's bird people. Oh my God. I'm playing, this is, this is the spiritual successor of Bre Breath of the Wild. It's Zelda 2, everybody. Oh, never mind. they have slaves. Not Zelda, definitely not Zelda. All right, here we go. Look at how you run. You just, you just kind of slide. For the first like step, if I just tap this button, I don't even walk, boys. Guys, this physics engine is bar none the best physics engine I've ever seen in my whole life. Look at this. Look at it. We can just take rocks and just chuck them. We're just pushing them. This rock doesn't weigh anything. Let's jump. Let's get out of here. Yeah, this is really creative. It, what? Wow. Really? Cr wow. I am wildly impressed. Oh, a guy rushing at me. A guy with a sword. A lizard person. Not today, lizard person. I'm gonna drop you off a cliff. See ya. Don't know how to swim, idiot. <laughs> the mind, guys. This game was 20 whole ass dollars. Honestly, though, it was worth it alone just for this water shading. Look at that. Just look at that. Big lizard. Is there gonna be? A, is there gonna be a big lizard? Nope. Just four little guys. What a shame. Now don't break my big, ugly guy statue. Oh. That took like four minutes to shape in, in, in the editing program they used to make this game. Was this game made in Microsoft Paint? Probably. You know why it felt real? Because your bedroom is dirty. You gotta you gotta clean you gotta clean your bedroom. Why is it so why is it so dirty, idiot? So in this game there's three buttons that you can use really. Like you other than the running button, you you hit the shift bar and you just kinda suck everything around. If you left click, you just push shit. And if you right click, you can you can pick it up and then and then throw it. You can just throw it right at people. Here, have a salad bowl. You know, his room may have gotten messed up, but at the end of the day, this weird carrot he keeps on the shelf is okay. So you know, it's a job well done in my book. Nobody's mad about the fact that I'm just breaking everything that belongs to them. Like this is my whole town's food supply for like two years. Like I'm killing my entire village right now with my negligent actions and nobody's even batting an eye. I guess you could say this is a real sandbox game. Ha <laughs> ha, huh. I'm gonna end the video now. In closing guys, here's a picture of me photoshopped onto Alex Jones's body. You guys have a great day. And once again, please make sure you check out that Red Dead video that I uploaded because I did work hard on it and I do think it was a pretty good video. Thanks for watching boys and girls. Have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Before